can there be a multiverse? If there's a universe, then there should be a multiverse. So, But the greatest one of them all is the Big Bang Theory. A hypothesis is just your opinion. Hello, I'm Kesha from What You Need to Know, Right? And today I'm gonna start a new series about the universe. First, I'm starting off with the Big Bang, then solar systems, then the galaxy, then the Milky Way, then our planets. But first, we're doing the Big Bang. The Big Bang is an explosion that practically created everything from planets to the sun to practically everything you ever know of. Let's talk about the universe. The universe is anything we can touch, feel, sense, measure, or detect. This can, this also includes matter, time, antimatter, mass, and even an alien. But let's not go too much onto that topic. There are many theories about how the universe was created. There are scientific theories, there are conspiracy theories, but the greatest one of them all is the Big Bang Theory. Earlier scientists believed that the universe is infinite and had no end until Einstein's theory of relativity proved them wrong. In 1920, Edwin Hubble discovered that galaxies are moving away from each other like dots on a balloon while you blow it up. In 1947, scientists, disco scientists accidentally discovered cosmic radiation in space. They believe that this might be radiation from the explosion of the Big Bang. With these facts, they created a theory called the Big Bang Theory. Again, this is not a this is a theory, not a hypothesis. A hypothesis is just your opinion. But a theory is you have something to back it up. Take your shovels because we're going to dig deeper into this session. 13.7 billion years ago, there was a small hot point hotter than the heart of a supernova a few millimeters wide, dense point, called a singularity. For some reason, it went <laughs> And after that, it started expanding and cooling, and it still does today. After that, there was energy, time, matter, and space and then us. After the bang, the, the universe started evolving. The, the evolution is split into two, into two stages or eras. The, the radiation era and the matter era. First is the radiation era. Due, it's called the radiation era, era due to the abundance of radiation. The radiation era started three minutes after the Big Bang, but lasted for 300,000 years. There, the energy was made out of electromagnetic rays, such as gamma ray, x-ray, ultraviolet ray, and other rays. This was when the first helium nuclei, or in case, all the helium nuclei was formed out of protons. After the radiation era is the matter era. This is when matter started coming and this is the era we're in. This can be split into three sub-phases or epochs. First is the atomic, second galactic, galactic and finally stellar. The atomic epoch was when the universe started to cool down, so the electrons can attach to the nucleus. This created hydrogen. Hydrogen and helium particles started dotting the sky with atomic particles. In these clouds, hydrogen and helium started clustering, which created galaxies. 
the gal within the galaxies, the stars were formed, and around the stars, the elements were were also formed. And the elements created stars, planets, moons, me, you, coronavirus, Minecraft, and everything. Here's a fun fact. In 1964, in Bell Labs, two scientists found something very discovering. There was something on the antenna of, of your machine. They thought it was bird poop, so they and found a nest of pigeons. So they cleaned off the antenna and to the birds they went die and killed all of the birds. But still, there was that there was still the bird poop, which was actually leftover radiation from the Big Bang. In conclusion. I hope you learned a lot about the Big Bang, the universe, different parts of the Big Bang, and so on. I like to thank Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson's awe-inspiring book called Astrophysics for Young People in a Hurry. And I hope you like, subscribe, and comment down below. This is Geisho, signing out.